Hey Lord Bodega, my name is Kadeem Mar, welcome back for a new video in a new series called obviously Empire Total War. You already know this game, uh, some of you guys. Uh, it might be weird for me to want to play this game for you, but you know, I've been playing it for a while now uh, off video uh, and everything on my own free time. And I, I love this game. This is by far my favorite Total War of all time. It might be... Uh, like uh, an unpopular decision or a popular uh, uh, the opinion and everything but it is by far my favorite just because it has the whole world map right it's the only total war that has the world map and um, I, right now I've got the mod equips I've got the Wii mod thing as well we've got we're gonna have the unlimited health or unlimited ammo whatever we want to have but we're also we're using another mod, which is an overall, which is a Darth mod. Uh, probably the most popular one uh, with the uh, the other one, which I don't remember which one that was. But Darth mod is, I think, is the most popular mod uh, out there for Empire Total War. The most popular overall, at least. So we're going to play that game. Uh, I want to start it up. I don't know how far we're going to go with it. Uh, but I have no games to play right now, so I figured why not play one of the games that I'm playing all the time by my own anyways. Why not record it while we're at it? So we're going to start and we're going to do Grand Campaign. Um, I started off, so we're going to be in uh, 1783 instead of being in the 17, uh, basically, the the uh, 1700, basically. So we're starting off in a late campaign instead of an early one. We're going to have, obviously we can play as the United States, uh, which are recently, have been recently born, right? They rebelled recently and they're free now. They're not at war with anyone, but uh, they did successfully get uh, their revolution and everything. Let's take a look at all the countries we, get, uh, we can get. So United States, Sweden, obviously the, the regular ones. We've got uh, Spain, Russia, we've got Poland, uh, the Ottomans, Mughals, the uh, Maratha Empire, the, uh, Iroqua, the Iroquois boys, which is weird because look at this. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. No, it's not supposed to look like that. I think the Iroquois are having a little bit of a tough time with the picture here. Uh, Prussia, we've got France, obviously, Austria. Uh, Austria. Uh, the Cherokee nations, oh, yeah, the Indians, I don't know why their pictures are kind of messing up right now. I don't know what's going on. Uh, United Provinces and the Great Britain, boys. So, I don't know. I don't know which one I want to choose. I don't want to choose one of the big, uh, big ones. I'm already played on my own free time, uh, the United States. I don't want to play them. I don't want to play Great Britain. I kind of want to play uh, a, a smaller country. Uh, give them the chance to rise maybe the Indians, but since they don't have a pictures it kind of uh, They don't have pictures. It kind of worries me boys. It worries me a little bit that uh, Something uh, bad could happen if I try to play as them so I want to play as someone that does have a picture or Is not like struggling with the pictures and everything so these guys are fine. We can play as them Even the Ottomans maybe but I want to play as a smaller country I think I'm going to pick the Iroquois uh, Confederacy. We're going to try to get back the populace, right? Get back our uh, so-called territories, right? Our first territories. We are the first nations after all. So these territories belong to us. Uh, I'm going to do long campaign. Capture and hold 30 regions by the end of the year 19, uh, 1890. Including regions shown. I'm actually going to just do world domination. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. So I'm just going to do world domination. And I'll stop whenever I want to, I guess. So world domination. We're going to play as the Iroquois boys. Kind of weird that we have a picture of Prussia right here. But it is what it is. Uh, I, I hope it's not going to glitch. If it glitched out, then I'll definitely switch it out to um, another country. But for now, we're playing as the Indians. Let's go. All right, mods are equipped. I've got unlimited gold. So I'm going to have that amount of gold every turn, boys. I've got fast research, fast production, fast construction, which means all of these are one turn to construct. I'll uh, take one turn. And I've got unlimited ammo during the battles. 
all right uh, i also have the option of unlimited health if i ever need it but i don't think i'm going to use it it would be kind of cheating to use it unless i really need it unless i'm really on the verge of uh, losing my entire faction you know so let's take a look overall i'm actually gonna go ahead and build these though i'm gonna build all the t all the little things that we need to build right here i'm gonna build those okay so which one is better right here recruitment we do want to recruit these things uh i think that's burial ground is the ones i want to recruit uh just so i can uh basically build more types of um of fighters and stuff like that the more the more you can build the better so let me just go ahead and do that uh, we got these little thingies right here that doesn't do anything no i'm gonna take this one there we go i think we're good okay so three territories let's take a look at our government itself uh this is okay so no the pictures are fine now so this is our obviously our i don't know how they call it their chief i guess our chieftain is uh here is not very popular gotta say boys a 58 percent popular is only two stars that's not too good uh, can we actually just replace like this so Michi, what is he good at uh, administration so army uh happiness management overall is good uh happiness lower class no not really he is good with treasury but treasury we already have someone good you said it was good with the army but um we don't really need that what about him does he is he good with army nothing else really it's, it's just army we need someone that's good with the justice let me just go ahead and take him oh he's good with justice anyways all right good uh let's throw our family tree right here that's kind of weird okay well these are uh, family trees i guess our main guy our main uh heir is this guy so we got to make sure that we get to pop off a couple more kids here we do want to build up the infrastructure let's go boys now i know we're going to be op boys because of the whole money thing but that's part of the game right that's why i'm doing it uh, we're not at war with anyone, right? I believe so. Believe we're not. Yes, we are at war actually with the uh, plains, which the other Amerindians, the other Indians. So, and we are at war with France. Well, perfect. Okay. All right. So, if we're at war with France, then which m that means we can take the uh, these territories right here for our own. So. We'll march on to the west, I guess. We got, we're at war with the friends right here. And the Plain Nations were right there. They only have one uh, territory. That's going to take a long time for us to uh, get there, though. Uh, we I don't think we have the knowledge of cannons right here. But I am going to go ahead. What is that? Skirmishers? They have, uh, like, some sort of stars or whatever. But I'm going to get a, a general by itself. So... One thing I, I want to for sure is to have guns, right? Because guns are going to really be important. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that. We want guns. So, okay. So let me see real quick. General, we already have that. I want two set of cavalries. Probably my general is already a cavalry. So what I'm going to do here. Accuracy. Huh, charge bonus. Oh, no. This, these are the guys I want. The ones that can melee. Okay, so we got that. May we got some warriors, elite infantry, militia, only irregulars that I have. That's interesting. I don't have any knowledge of cannons or whatever, so that's kind of weird, boys. Do the what about him? He has an axe, right? They have axes, so can skirmish, can rally comrades, resistant to eat fatigue. So they're basically really resistant, but they're kind of melee dudes. I don't like melee dudes. I don't like them. I prefer like shooting accuracy. Uh, I prefer musket men and stuff like that. Let me just uh, do that. Let's just pop up some musket men. Uh, I guess. Um, I guess we can try them out. I guess we can try the, these guys out. I'm not. Well, maybe just one of them. Maybe just one of them, and afterwards it's all just a bunch of uh, archers, boys. And uh, all right, so over here we've got nothing. I need to choose my second city now. My 
I think my uh, or my second army. We already we do have cannons here. Okay, interesting. So we do have cannons. I guess they come from previously from another country. So we have another cavalry. So we already have our two cavalries. We got a cannon. Uh, the other ones. This is a melee infantry. I won't want that. Um, I guess we can build a bunch of archers. We're gonna build this this guy right here, and a bunch of archers are right here. There we go. So that's all we're gonna build. Uh, we don't need to build anything else. Uh, let me see. So what we can do, because we have the money, we can ask people to give us their territories as well. Uh, every one year. I'm going to try to do that, boys. Uh, United States. Let me just request a trade with you. Uh, sure. Military access. So they've got uh, military access, uh, I guess. But uh, that's fine, that's fine. Um, do they have technology? Yes, they do. Hold on. What about technology, though? I do have to look into that, boys. Okay, so I don't have any schools right now. Would be great if I could just have those technologies. So let me... Give me those technologies, please. I'll give you a couple of money right here. Uh, let me uh, say... How about five... T uh, five uh, how about ten... 10,000 for these two technologies. Let us put an end to the... Okay. Did it work? It did work. All right. So we got these two technologies. They got 10,000. Uh, that's perfect. Now, what I do want is try to uh, make it so that I I get uh, some territories here out of them. So can you give me, f say, Virginia? Do you want to give me Virginia right here? And I'll give you... Uh, I'll give you uh, all the money I have right now. Uh, we are done. We are bargaining. Let's put an end to the talk. I think it worked. Hold on. I think it worked. Do we have Virginia, boys? We do. There we go. So we bought Virginia. Uh, it belongs to us now. Perfect. Uh, it's Protestantism. It's Protestant right now, which is not really good. Uh, we need to uh, clear it out. But we got a brand new territory just by buying it. Just like that, boys. So, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's see real quick, though. Do we... Okay, so what do we do here? Obviously, we can't do anything with that. That's not going to help us. So, we got to destroy that. Uh, we also have to find... What's causing a problem right here? Cottage? No, that's fine. Do we have a... We still don't have a, a school or anything right here. Okay, so we don't have really anything. Uh, much of anything right now. So that's fine. Uh, I do want to ally myself with the Shiroki. Alright, we're friends after all. We are both uh, First Nations. So I want to ally myself with them. I also want to give them the technolo technology right there. Just for free. And also, I do want to... Request an alliance. There we go. We have a military alliance with the Shiroki nations, boys. I think we should be good. So let's just go ahead right away. Do we have any agents? No, we don't. We only have these three armies right here. That's fine. Uh, I do want to have... I have to build an army right here. I am going to have to. But right now, it, it's not that much of a problem. Let's just skip ahead to the next turn. All right, so let's see what's going to happen here. There's probably going to be a lot of wars declared. But already, I can already see that um, the money I gave the Americans is paying off already. They're already starting to build off a lot of armies right here, as you can see. That's what the, usually the AI does with the money. They build, the, uh, they build more. Hold on. So we got multiple choices here. Okay. Bowmans, spirit bowmans, and all this shit. Uh, okay, so we got that's what that gives us. What about that? Kind of gives us the, the same thing. What about the Council of uh, Elders? Same thing, really. It doesn't really change anything, to be honest. Uh, anything in particular that... Uh, any one of, the, uh, of them in particular that would give us, like, anything? Not really. 
I think Council of Elders, maybe we'll try that that one out. We'll try the Council of Elders. What else? Do we have anything else that we can build right here? No, not really. So we just gotta wait. We just gotta wait for that to be completed for the next turn. And next turn, we're gonna be able to start building out some armies. Obviously, people are not gonna be too happy right now. Uh, food shortage as well. So it looks like we're uh, missing a lot of food right now. That's not too good. Uh, government type, that's fine. What I am going to do, uh, though, it's since I don't need that money and I, I want people to be happy, I'm just going to get tax levels way the low, uh, at the lowest possible, right? We don't need anything to happen to us, any rebellion or anything. So let's just make uh, let them uh, be happy. I'm going to build that, build that for these ones, and uh, there we go. So we're just upgrading overall we got a bunch of we're still building out these that's that's good that's good so now we can build musket mints again uh elite warrior society so see i could build these warriors right here maybe that's the way to go build the warriors accuracy oh they have accuracy too okay you know what let's build the warriors then we're building warriors boys uh, I think they're gonna be good. They're gonna be good for us. Those warriors. What about uh, what about you, buddy? How's it going right here? Do you still have those two musket musket mints that are being built? You don't have any warriors uh, yourself. You only have elite infantry. They have a curse though. Oh, yeah. Why am I building? Okay, no, they have a curse. So they have. They can shoot. Why am I? Yeah. Why was I building the other thing then? I don't know, boys. What was I thinking? I thought they were literally just melee, but I guess they are, uh, they are ranged as well. That helps out tremendously then. If they're not only, uh, they're also that. Okay, I think we're good here. Let's see right here what's happening. We got some uh, warriors, some construction. Uh, Spain and Great Britain are at war. Poland and Russia are at war. And Poland and Prussia are at war. So let's just take a look at... Uh, what the uh, Europe looks like right here. So these two are decided to go at war, and um, looks like Poland is a t is in a two front war right now. Uh, they're definitely gonna die. That's not gonna last for too long for them. They're de they're not gonna resist for too long. That's for sure. I eventually want to take uh, this right here. I kind of wanna I want to take it all right, but leave some for the. The Cherokee, I'm going to give them the south, basically. And uh, uh, I'll take the north of America and everything. So let's just see. Uh, let's just skip again. We don't have anything to do. It's every... Uh, it's the next turn we're going to be... We're going to start bargaining for another territory. But uh, for now, let's just move on, boys. These years are going to come in uh, pretty easily as time goes by because... We're already uh, uh, one year now. All right, we're into the next turn. Gathering warriors, so uh, hold on. There we go, that's done. Another war declared. Poland is against Austria. Well, Poland's declaring war to everyone, boys. That's, I don't think that's the good move, but uh, good for them, I guess. We got uh, bifocal eyeglasses. Scientist, inventor, and all-round intellect uh, intellectual Benjamin Franklin has unveiled his new double spectacles. Uh, these eyeglasses, which might also be turned bifocals, are designed to aid those many persons unfortunate enough to have trouble distinguish objects both close to them and far away, consisting of a frame holding two half lenses of catch uh, of each eye. The lower lenses aid close vision, whilst the upper assist will uh, with focus upon distant object. With uh, the simple example of an inventive insight. Benjamin Franklin has shared with us uh, uh, all of a small part of his own admirable clear sight. So Benjamin Franklin just invented the uh, the glasses, boys, which is really an important thing. Without him, I wouldn't have uh, glasses right now. I'd probably be blind, boys. So thank you, Benjamin Franklin. I guess <laughs> thank you for inventing those. So. We do have gunsmith coming up, which does mean that we're probably going to have more options with guns and stuff like that. That would be kind of cool. 
to have more of these options right here. It's still big enough, these armies right here. I can't build off any more than that. It looks like we're gonna need more. So I'm building off three. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna need five more units. I guess we can go for these guys, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. Now, we, don't, not any, we don't really have any other choice, uh, really. So that army, I don't like that you are like, can you move it away from my territory, please? I guess they have to, they have uh, access, right? They have military access, but uh, still, I don't like the fact that it's there. So we are going to build up some armies right here. Let me see real quick. So what do we have? We only have Bowman's as an option. That's not too good. Really not too good. What about you? You're good on your own right here. You got four units. You should be fine. Okay, so my armies are going to take some time to build up. Obviously, boys, it's going to take a long time to, uh, for my armies to build up. Um, it's only normal, right? It's uh, obviously I don't uh, I don't have the technology or whatever to build as many units as the European do. So I'm just going to go ahead and see. Right? Okay, um, let's see. Can we go with the Americans again? Can they give me another one of their territories right here? So, uh, do you have any other technologies, by the way? You do. He does have a lot of technologies. Holy shit. Give me all of them. Give me all your technologies, my guy. All your technologies and... I guess, yeah, give me all your technologies. I'll give you, this time around, uh, 15... 15,000 for all of this. Uh, I see nobody. Okay, so it's not going to work out uh, for all of that. So I think I, I got to give him uh, a lot for this. I'm, I can give him a lot. I don't care. Uh, how about 45,000 just for all of these? Sir, people may be a young Asia by Bastards. We still, we. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait uh, wait it out then. I just want a region right now, so that's all I want. I'm just gonna I'm gonna ask for Marinland, Maryland. There we go. Just give me that little territory. Uh, can you give me it? Uh, can you give it to me for like fifty thousand or something? Nope. Okay. All right. Let's just hold on, boys. I'll I'll skip until I get what I want. The way it works is I have to give him all the money in the world every time in order to, for it to work. So it is what it is. Uh, it's gonna, uh, Americans are just going to be rich as fuck. That's all it is. Um, I've got Marinland now. So now we've got Marinland. We are starting to grow quite a lot. We, we just bought two territories, right? We don't even need to do wars. The Americans are just giving us their territories, which is... Perfect for us. I mean, it is absolutely perfect. We uh, do we have anything else going on right now? Do we do, that's bothering us? We don't. We do have the dockyards though. Minus one uh, happiness for uh, the lower classes though, and that's not giving us anything. I'm gonna destroy these uh, these ports. Anything that's not helping us right now, I'm destroying them. Um, that doesn't have anything to do with our nations really. I have to destroy them because otherwise uh, it won't help, right? Um, there's nothing we can do. Obviously now, rich, they're, they must be rich. They're only rich? Meager? How are we, How is our uh, wealth meager? That doesn't make any sense. We're fucking rich, boys. Okay. Oh, you know what? It's probably the income they were talking about. Yeah, our income is not doing so good. But that's only because uh, my tax levels are are kind of down a little bit. What about um, okay? So if I if I say a, I I keep that like that, how does it um, how does it go? They're not too they're not too happy. It's not the end of the world. Over here, they're absolutely happy over there. So I don't need to worry about these two territories. It's these two territories. They're not assimilated to me, which I need to do, but I don't have any priests right now. Um, I guess what I can do. So like just to get a, a, a little bit more money, I could just do that, I guess. How about now? 
Nah, not really. You know what? No, let's not let's not test it out. Let's just let's just get them uh, without uh, without having uh, to pay anything. We're just gonna skip to the next turn already. We don't have anything to do. All I need to do really is to build off my army. So until then, boys, I'll see you in a quick second. All right, we're on to the next year, boys. In the 1785 now. Uh, we do have almost a complete army uh, over here. We have a complete army right here, though, uh, with cannons. I can actually build cannons now. But the thing is, I only have the right to have one cannon at a time uh, overall, which is pretty bad. <laughs> I hope it's the gonna that's going to change. But for now, I can't have more than one. So we're going to have to make do with that, boys. We've got multiple musketmen we can still get. That's two, uh, four, five, uh, three, four, five. So we need three more, three more units right here. Let's try to figure this out. I guess the uh, the archers really. So to build to finish that off. Next stop, uh, where do we go? So we've got that right there. We've got this right here. And uh, this is not done yet. Oh no, this it's this one, the fishing uh, fleet. So we're going to be able to do uh, get a fleet next turn at least. Uh, we got nothing else going on, it looks like. We got these two units plus these two cavalries are going to protect our uh, city or our region of Vir Virginia. And uh, over here we have, I guess, we're going to take that right here. So these two units. And um, we don't have anything else, really. We really don't. Uh, we do have these four units right here, which are all garbage, actually. I'm, I'm going to switch them off. I'm going to replace them by actual good units, you know. Or units that can actually defend us, or at least. Uh, let me just get... Which one? This one. This is the one I want. There we go. Some units that can actually protect us, you know, would be uh, pretty great. Let's get the spiritual circle right here. Alright, we're good. We can start marching on that army. It's ready to go. Uh, I'm kind of scared. I don't know what I'm facing right here. It looks like uh, England is also at war. So I, we're probably allied. You know what? Hold on. Yes, we are allied with uh, Great Britain. That's probably why we're at war with France. We're allied with Great Britain. So we're in an allied war against France right now. We're still at war with them, I guess. That's interesting. Well, before they go and take this right here, Louisiana, uh, they already took the um, the Uron territory uh, territories. I want to make make sure that um, I get there before them. So let's let's start marching on, boys. Uh, these guys, I'm just gonna do the same thing I did for the other ones. I'm gonna give you some units to protect your uh, territories and everything. I think we're good on that side. So that's uh, that's done right here. That's pretty good. Now we are going to be able to start uh, looking for the uh, United States again. Uh, whoops. Wrong, wrong thing. So open negotiations again. Uh, let's see what they, uh, they want to give us. Uh, or they can give us. I'm not going to ask for that because obviously... Uh, not yet at least. Because obviously... Um, it's on the top. I prefer going below right here. So, Carolina. Let's see if you can't give me that, buddy. Just give me Carolina. You're going to get all the money in the world, like always. So, there you go. Uh, sir. No, actually. Oh, wow. So, they don't want to give me uh, Carolina. Looks like we're as far as, it is as far as we can go right here. That's very interesting. So they don't want to give us that. Well, are you going to be willing to give us New York then? Maybe we're going to have to get uh, on the north instead. Because it doesn't look like the south. They want to give it up. Hold on, boys. But she said, No, okay. So they're not giving up any more of their territories, boys. They're split out in two to, uh, as well. Which is going to look ridiculous. But I guess that's how they like it. I don't know, boys. So maybe now we're going to start looking after the uh, Great Britain then. Yo, Great Britain, you want to give us the uh, Uran territories right here? That would be kind of uh, cool if you give us that. I don't have anything to give them there. 
I can't uh, give them any tech. I don't have anything to give anybody. All right, so I can't bargain with these two. I can't bargain with these two anymore. And uh, I can't bargain with France. Obviously, I'm already at war with them. That's uh, that's kind of weird. That's a shame, really. Well, if I can't bargain, that it is what it is, I guess. I don't... I don't know, boys. I guess I can't bargain anymore. Well, we'll just build our armies and go to war then. There's not anything else we can do about it. All right, we got something popping off. We got another aggressor. The uh, Muggles decided to attack Great Britain. Um, that's interesting. They declared war to Great Britain. Now, that's a little bit far away from me. And the Muggles are really powerful. I don't have any armies. Not going to start going into India as the in as the actual Amerindians. That's going to be weird. So, I'm just going to dec decline and break the alliance with uh, Great Britain, boys. Uh, there's no point in me being allied with them anyways. Um, so right now I'm just going to let them do their thing. I don't want to go into India and uh, have to go into India and do stuff like that. That's out of my jurisdiction right here. Alright, we're into the next year, boys. Uh, 1786. Uh, my army over here is fully complete. So we got two full armies right here. Uh, ready to march on. They are marching on. They are going to already march on. So let's just start things up. I don't know which one I want to go first for. I think I'm going to send this army uh, this side. Yeah, I'm going to send this army to this side uh, over there. And this army is going to take care of France. Uh, because I feel like if they have cannons, at least I'm going to have one cannon to compete with them. I don't want to mess with uh, the French... If uh, they have cannons and everything, it's going to be rough for us. So uh, I just want to be careful here. I'm trying to be careful at least. Let's see right here. So we got to build more armies again. Uh, just build up these armies that can protect us and everything. There we go. Uh, let's take a look real quick. Uh, also, last winter, the one that I skipped that you didn't see uh, the turn basically. Uh, what happened is uh, the United Provinces decide to uh, declare war to France. So there's another war right there. So this, these guys attacking France. They probably want Brussels back. Uh, I don't know, boys. How this is going to go. France is still pretty powerful at this time. And uh, it's going to be just interesting to see how it goes. How about Poland? Are they they're surviving? I guess they're surviving. They might have taken actually Silesia. I'm not sure if they uh, they had that or not, but uh, they're surviving. They're at war. Remember, they're at war with uh, Russia, Austria, and Prussia. They're a three-front war. Uh, it's going to be rough for them. And England is at a big-time war right now against uh, the Muggles. Probably trying to. Well, the Muggles are the ones that declared war to them. Probably trying to get the, their territories, but uh, England, that's more reason for them to expand, I guess. That's good for them more than anything else. Uh, my own leader right here is 62 a years of age. Uh, he's getting in there in age, but I don't know how long they last, uh, these leaders, so uh, these monarchs. I don't know how long they last in terms of age and everything. I still want to try my luck with them. I, I still want to try it. Uh, I'm pretty sh like I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna accept eventually. They they gotta accept. I mean, I'm giving them a lot of money right here. It's that's a big offer. That amount of money right here. So, and sure, I can't give them anything else. Uh, I guess we could ally potentially, but you are. He's only at war with the Barbary States, after all. That's not what I meant to do. I forgot. Damn. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I just made a mistake, boys. Oh, boy. All right. Well, you know what? They're just going to give... Uh, they're just going to get uh, double. There you go. Fuck, man. They don't, don't want it. So I just gave them for free. Five turns, I'm just going to give that amount of money. Doesn't hurt me, but still... Oh my god, look at this. Woo! Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. These guys, though, holy shit. They just don't care. Really? Like, honestly? 
And now they're probably rich. Spectacular, yeah, because I'm giving uh, them all the money. Ah, oh, fuck you, man. These fucking Americans, I swear, boys. They don't want anything to do with me. I can't buy them. And I can't buy the English as well. There's nothing I can do. Nothing I can do, boys. You know what? I can probably try something, though. Let me try something. Uh, Spain. You are you are hostile towards me. I don't know why. I don't know what I did to you. to <laughs> For you to be hostile towards me. What about New Mexico? You want to give it to me? Give New Mexico to me, man. We have Oregon. Let's put... There. There we go. See, I should probably just bargain other territories. If they don't want to give it those to me, I'm just going to bargain the other ones. Yeah, that makes more sense, boys. All right. So we've got New Mexico, I guess. How far... How happy are they to have me? Not very. They're all Catholics and stuff. That's not too good for me. Cotton or tobacco? Which one is the most popular right now? Tobacco 20, 22 for cotton. We're going for the cotton one. There we go. Giving a little bit more money right here. So, all right. We're continuing to grow. I should have probably decided to do that earlier though. Oh, look at that. The Cherokee are at war, it looks like, with Spain. So... The Cherokee uh, just took uh, Florida. Good for them. They're expanding on the south. Uh, I'm expanding on the south uh, west. it looks like as well. Uh, I am going to need an army right there. But uh, my armies are coming in. Uh, next video, boys, we're going to be at war. We're actually going to do some battles. Obviously, it's going to be... It was going to take a long time before uh, getting my armies ready and everything. But we're going to do some battles in the next uh, next video. Against France and against uh, the Plain Nations. I don't know if we're going to be uh, finished with them, though, uh, with France. Because they still have lower Louisiana. Since Once I'm done with Louisiana, I'm going to just declare peace with them. You know, I'm going to make peace. There's no uh, point in me... Being at war with them if they're uh, just in Europe. I mean, they still have these these ones, these territories right here. Not even, just the weird, uh, weirdlands. Because looks like the Dutch took uh, took care of the Gu uh, Guyana. The Dutch have a good influence in the South American uh, area right here. That's interesting. Alright, I can probably buy my way into Spain right here. Mexico, I can probably buy that. All this shit, man. I could probably buy that thing, uh, those things, and expand on the south. Once I like, I buy those territories. I give them to uh, the Cherokee people, and maybe in exchange, uh, we do it like an exchange type of thing. Where, well, I don't know how it's gonna work, boys. We'll just have to say, I guess. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you all for the next one. Keep it easy.